What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the challenge, uh, the hero section design challenge that is. We're going to record uh, challenge number four now, which is an image slider. So any kind of website hero, any industry that just uses some kind of like rotating images or image slider or anything, um, would love to see what you guys come up with. Uh, first thing I want to say is sorry it's been so long since the last video. Uh, that is down to a few things, a couple of personal things going on and um, we had a, quite a few projects all coming at the same time. Really short deadlines. It was more hands on deck situation but i don't want to waste any of your time so let's go also very sorry there's a heat wave here in the uk and uh, in order to record i've had to shut the windows and turn the fans off so if i start just profusely sweating i do apologize so i'm going to try and race through this so i can get the fan back on we have chosen to do a pilates and bar studio and this is because my partner joe here she is. It's just opened a new um, Pilates and Bar studio here in Bristol. And we, uh, you know, we're going to be doing that website. So we like to, you know, practice. So let's just make something up. We've got some colors here. They're all a bit soft. I don't know how I feel about that. We've got a typeface here, Area Normal, it's called, which looks quite nice. We've got some copy here. So we're thinking for the H1, we want to say this explicitly what it is. What are people going to be searching for? Um, and let's maybe say in. Um, Let's write in Hammersmith, London. So we want to be as explicit as we can with our H1. You know, what are people searching for? Um, if somebody is literally wants to find a bar or Pilates class in Hammersmith, London, this is a pretty good thing to write. So we're going to use that. Then we're going to blow up and have a big headline just for, you know, a bit of a brand moment, a bit of a description, flow your own way. And then we're going to have two call to actions, one to actually buy passes and one to have a look at the class schedule. Uh, and then some kind of social proof. We're obviously just making this up. Um, join over 400 happy members. Something like that sounds all right. Um, we are going to call this Balance Studio. So let's make a quick nav bar. And I want to just say that um, don't think that these are like full on finished designs, right? These, this is, we're just kind of like throwing ideas at the canvas. This is a good way to start. Um, a good way to start a project is also doing something called crazy eights. Um, and crazy eights is where you kind of do eight layouts really, really quickly. Maybe not even with images, you know, you just wax some text on, you know, what does it look like side by side? What does it look like underneath each other? What does it look like with an image in the background or text over the top? You just smash out eight ideas really quickly. So the idea here is we, we just want to move quickly. So we're going to have a think, what do we want here? We want class types in our nav bar. And I'm just going to make this a little turn out. I'm going to be in 32 pixels between. Always a good place to start. We want schedule and spell. Uh, we probably want FAQs, reviews, and then we probably want a button as well um, for like booking classes. Right? Where do we want to guide people? And I'm going to, my usual start is about 16 pixels top and bottom, 32 left and right. That's ridiculous. Why is that gone so big? Oh, yeah, I've done it the wrong way around. This should be 32 and that should be 16. There we go. And I'm going to round out those corners. And then let's give that a background color and let's color pick that pink and see what that's starting to look like. And that looks quite nice, I think. So we can just cut this, grab our auto layout and paste it in there. Select our auto layout, align it to the right. That looks pretty good. And then let's auto layout this nav bar in the center and then double click and it will just force it. Uh, it's called space between force all the space between them. I'm going to give it some padding left and right of 56, 24 top and bottom and give it a fixed width of 1440, which is our artboard, pop it at the top. Maybe let's give it a stroke just on the bottom for now. This color and maybe let's make that like 30%, a bit less, maybe 15, something like that. Okay, that looks Fine, obviously the logo is crap, but um, Nick, our branding master, would give us a proper logo. Um, let's turn our guides on what we've got here. We, so we got a 12 column guide. Interestingly, somebody commented and said to try out an 18 column guide, which to me is madness. I'm up for trying it. Um, I actually quite like to start with a six sometimes because that gives you less options. I find what a lot of designers do is get a bit trapped and they're like, oh my God, I could design anything. And then they don't do anything. So 
the fewer options you have, the quicker you can work, which, you know, there's pros and cons. So this is our little H1, and we don't necessarily need this to look like an H1. This doesn't need to be massive. We're going to have our second bit of copy is going to be massive to find your balance. So when we build this site, we're going to tag this as the H1, just for SEO purposes. We're just going to put it as the first thing you see. This, let's back this up to 64 and see what happens and maybe pop it into the bold. Looks quite nice, although I have a feeling we're probably going to want to make that a bit bigger. Um, and then we want some paragraph copy, which we've got here. So, you know, being very carefree with how I paste this in. Don't care too much at the moment. We'll style it and make it look good in a minute. And then we need two buttons. So maybe we can keep for consistency, maybe like the primary call to action for booking classes is always in that pink. And maybe we'll have a second button, uh, like a secondary call to action that is yellow. And that can be view schedule. Looks good. And then I'm going to auto lay out these. And I like to have my button groups 12 pixels apart to start. And depending on like the button style and the branding, you might want to give that more or less, but that's usually a good place to start. That looks fine. And then we want to say join over 400 happy members. And then what we could do with this, we could have some little circles with some little people's faces in them. This is above the fold, so kind of the first thing people are going to see where it is, roughly what it is, some call to actions, like you know what you've got to do, and then some happy smiley people down here might look quite good. And then we have these images courtesy of Jo, my partner. Um, she's just had these taken, so let's just uh, use them rather than using like random unsplash ones. We may as well. What I'm going to do is I'm thinking something like this. It looks quite nice already, I think. And then what we'll do is we'll kind of, as there's two class types here, we're saying, you know, we're offering Pilates and bar. It might be nice. It's going to be quite difficult to kind of show that in one image. That's why I think an image slider would be good here. So we can just kind of cycle through three or four images just on a timer, you know, like a slow crossfade in just so straight away people can see. Oh, look, I'm doing stuff with like little hand weights. And then maybe I'm also doing stuff lying down on the floor doing Pilates. So getting, trying to show like a good overview of the whole thing. You know, a picture says a thousand words, as they say. Um, I, I'm, I think it's starting to look pretty good already. Let's, uh, let's, let's work on some kind of hierarchy a bit. So we can pull that down. That doesn't need to be so big. It's obvious what that is. This is there for SEO purposes, really, right? Now, I think this guy, I think let's just go big. Let's see what happens. 96. Okay, let's pull the line height down a bit. 10. 10% seems good. And as mentioned in previous videos, always working percentage is much better for development and it's much better for your, your, um, your life going forwards. It's going to make your life a lot easier. This is quite nice in 21. This would be like our large text size. Quite like that. And that should be the same as the button. No, the button's 18. Hmm. Thoughts? Any thoughts? I think this needs to be knocked back or given some kind of different treatment. So let's auto lay out this. Always a good place to start is like putting it in a pill shape. Usually works. Let's see. Let's give it a fill. Around those corners. It's a bit wishy-washy. Uh, the white on the cream is not quite enough for me. That's kind of nice. Although I feel like now the only thing I'm looking at is this up here and this view schedule, which is actually wrong. We want to be kind of looking at this and this. So maybe let's remove the fill, add a stroke. Uh, 111111 is our color. And maybe let's drop that down to 30%. Ah, yes space left and right maybe 20. Four. I'm happy with that. I think that looks quite nice. So let's auto lay out these two together. Let's give them 16 pixels. That looks good. And let's do the same with these. Let's auto lay out these. What does 16 look like? That's not enough at all. 32 feels good. And then I quite like a bigger gap between those two. So what we could do is we can kind of put them all together in one 
frame, um, but it's all a bit bunched up and quite difficult to read. So I'm going to undo that. Let's auto layout out these two together and maybe let's start at like 64. And that feels quite nice. You know, I, you know this design is going to be winning any, any awards and I don't think you know you should be setting out to try and win awards as a designer. Uh, your goal is to communicate the value uh, proposition for your client, right? We need to tell that their clients how to get into a class, basically. We want as many people in the studio as possible. Um, we are helping our clients. We're solving that problem. They, they don't have enough people. They're like a new studio. People need to know about them. That's our job. Our job isn't to make it as creative and mental as possible and try and win some awards. Um, our goal is to deliver the information, and we know how to do that. Right, we're going to help them get found on the internet using tactics like this. Um, and we make it really obvious as to what to do, right? Well, like, I don't need millions of pages here. We just need a page that lists out all the class types, or maybe a page for each class type. So perhaps we'd have a page for Pilates and a page for bar. People want to know when the classes are. People will probably have questions like, do I need to wear grip socks? Do I need to bring my own mat? blah, 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 you know, when there's like a COVID outbreak, you know, you can put COVID guidance in here. Uh, people want to know that everybody else has been to the classes and enjoyed it. So we put some reviews in and then we, we keep this nav bar sticky the whole time. So as the website's scrolling, we're going to let people just book classes or access any of this content easily. When the, when the nav bar scrolls away, it's just really frustrating. So why do, why do people do that? Right, let's grab some people. So we can use a plugin for this called UI Faces, and do this by I, maybe around that's like 64, seems like a nice little size for a headshot. Let's put some people in here, we can auto layout, and then great thing about the new auto layout is I can press shift and down, and it removes space between. So these are now overlapping, which is nice. So let's do command forward slash and write UI Faces. Think. This one. Here we go. Nice. So just zoom in a bit. I'm going to hold Command to access something inside a frame. I'm going to hold Shift so I can access more than one thing. So I can select more than one thing. And I'm just going to select all four of those circles. And we are going to try and see what happens here. So age range 18 to 40. So we know their target market is uh, 25 to 50. So let's do that. Main females, let's do that. Let's make sure they are happy. Um, any hair color and apply avatars. Oh, so close. Why did it only do three? Let's try this one. Sexual shape, apply avatar. There she is. Lovely. Right, that's looking good. My computer's just sort of dying, probably because of the heat, so I'm sorry about that. Let's grab these and auto layout these together, and maybe they look quite, all looks a bit far apart in the moment, so I'm going to drop that down to 24 pixels space. And that is starting to look pretty good. So, generally speaking, I'm kind of happy with this. Like, bare bones, it does what it needs to do. So we just need some kind of, like, slider UI over here. And the nature of this slider is, I don't think you'd really want to kind of click and cycle through the images. I think this is like a background thing. It's secondary content. It's just going to happen by itself. So we set the images going on the timer, but we should tell the user how many images there are left to go. So we can use slider dots. So if I just draw out some circles over here, I'm going to maybe do them at 16 pixels. And let's maybe make them white on top of this. Zoom in and let's say we've got four images probably a good amount i think what people tend to do in sliders is just overload them and put you know like 10 images in nobody really wants to sit there and look at 10 images so let's do them a favor and just give them a few so auto layout these double click into the auto layout and then command d to duplicate them and then i'm going to grab that auto layout frame and let's put pixels between it really is slow. Um, and then we want to show an active state. So we'll have the active state as full white. And then this is like, you see that? 
maybe 50% like that. Yeah, you know, that's not bad. I think that's not bad. So let's center that up. See what it looks like in the middle. I think it's actually better on the left because you've got everything here is on the left. The main focal point of the whole kind of layout is on the left. Everything is aligned to the left. Let's just make sure these are aligned. And that feels pretty good. I know it's really basic, but you know, it doesn't need to be crazy, right? It, designs never need to be crazy. Like our job as a designer is usually to kind of simplify stuff, and try and make it clear. And if we want crazy stuff, you know, maybe something cool happens on scroll, like you scroll and it all fades out and the image slides out the side. You can do loads of cool stuff to kind of bring this to life. Um, and also the faster you can get projects designed, the happier your clients will be. The happier your clients will be, the more referrals you will get. So maybe there's, maybe you could do something, you know, something ultra basic, like putting a big shape in the background, maybe. Like you can have these kind of like floaty, floaty fellas about something like this. But the risk with doing something like this makes the development a little bit more complicated and may also kind of draw focus. We don't want people looking at this. You know, we want people looking at this big pink button over here. But I think, generally speaking, pretty happy with that. You know, pretty standard. And then what we would do from here is we would duplicate it. Maybe we'd give this to another designer in our team and go, what would you change? Uh, give them an hour on it. And then we, we'd all have a look and, and see what we think. Last thing to do is just kind of check how far away these dots are from the left of this. 47, so not divisible by 4 or 8. So if I bump that over by 1. 48 and then bump that up so you've got 48 pixels left and bottom and that feels pretty tidy to me that is going to wrap up this video remember if you if you want to send us designs please email them we've got um some details in the video description and a pinned comment i think if you enjoyed this content please like it it really does help and subscribe it helps get this content out there the more people watch the videos the more um we will make time to record some more. And again, just really sorry that it's taken so long to get this content out. Um, and I will do my best to record more for you. So have a lovely day. And to anybody who sent us work so far, we love it. It's really great. Keep it coming.